Spirometry is an important diagnostic test for a diagnosis and monitoring of respiratory disease. Spirometry is the most common of the lung function tests, which determines the amount of volume, what a person can fully inhale and fully exhale, and speed of airflow through the airways. Indications for spirometry Diagnosis of airway obstruction Monitoring of pulmonary function, assessment of the state of external respiratory function and making a prognosis for the disease. Contraindications for spirometry. Recent myocardial infarction, recent cerebrovascular hemorrhage, pneumothorax, chemoptysis, vomiting and nausea. Spirograph consists of interface, individual mouthpiece for the patient and nose clip. Before starting the study, you should check the technical condition of the device, ask the patient questions about recent smoking before the study, existing disease, the use of medications that may affect the results. Measure the patient's height and weight and enter patient data in the spirometer. Correctly seat the patient in front of the spirometer. The patient should sit with a straight back and slightly raised head. The doctor needs to explain and show the patient how to perform the breathing maneuver correctly. During the procedure, the doctor should be interested in the feelings of the patients. Install the nose clips and the breath should be reproduced by the mouth. Hold the mouthpiece tightly with your lips and teeth to prevent ear leakage. After a calm exhalation, take the deepest possible breath and immediately after that, without pausing, exhale all the air with maximum effort, continuing it until the lungs are completely emptied. Exhalation ends at the doctor's command. Repeat the procedure two times. After that, we check the results on interface. On obstructive disease, we have decrease of force expiratory volume at first second. On restrictive disease, we have decrease of force vital capacity. Bronchodilatation test to determine the reversibility of bronchial obstruction. A bronchodilatation test is performed. What is spirometry is repeated after inhalation of the bronchodilatator. For example, short acting inhaled beta-2 agonist or anticholinergic drugs. After 15 minutes, we repeat the procedure of spirometry and check our results. The bronchodilatation test is considered positive if the increase after inhalation of the bronchodilatator is more than 12% or more than 200 milliliters.